The nation's lawmakers finally approved three candidates to serve as justices on the Constitutional Court, a breakthrough that clears up a month-long deadlock and filling crucial vacancies on the court. Kim mo gets us up to speed with the developments. In Wednesday's plenary session, the National Assembly confirmed President Moon's three Constitutional Court justice candidates, Kim Gi-young, Lee Jong-seok, and Lee Young-jin, a few hours after voting to adopt the reports on the respective hearings. The three judges-to-be were recommended by the ruling Democratic Party of Korea, the main opposition Liberty Korea Party, and the minor opposition Paringmire Party, respectively. The candidates' confirmation hearings were held last month, but Parliament failed to adopt reports on those hearings amid arguments over the nominee's ethical qualifications. Because of the vacancies, the Constitutional Court has been out of action for nearly a month. Under the Constitution of Korea, the President, the National Assembly and the Supreme Court Chief Justice each appoint three judges to the Constitutional Court's nine-member bench. But after five judges finished their terms last month and only two of the vacancies were filled, those from the Supreme Court, the Constitutional Court has been short of the seven judges needed to hold hearings. With the latest results, the Constitutional Court is now able to fill the nine-member bench, ending more than a month-long deadlock in the judiciary body. The judges will begin their six-year term after President Moon Jae-in officially appoints them to their posts. Kim Mo-gyun, Arirang News.